This horrific 1994 event was all I had heard about Rwanda. But this trip has shown the incredible healing the Rwandan people have accomplished. This cutting edge art gallery features young Rwandan artists. Kevin, our local guide, proudly invited us to his wedding. When asked how many invitees, he said he had given out 60 invitations so far. But each guest might bring up to 20 people. Pieces Organization is dedicated to educating and training young women to work needed jobs in the community. Also, training them to support their own children. Aspire Rwanda also educates the youngsters from babies to approximately eight years old. Pieces goal is not only to train these girls how to be professional cooks. She also wants to teach them how to cook healthy traditional foods for their families. This pumpkin steams solely in moisture from banana leaves. A little later, the mothers go to work the fields with their babies on their backs. Young children show up at fields with lunch for the adults. Others are on the roads to carry products to sell at markets and return with items they have bought. After work, men may stop at a local bar while women go home to prepare the evening meal. Most everyone is home by 8 p.m. and the roads are empty. Most Africans walk from four to 13 kilometers per day. We were welcomed by dancers into our lodges as well as at headquarters of the national parks. was invaluable to me. Jack carried my gear and protected me from falling on the slippery, rocky terrain. It is also a great way to help support families who used to make a living from poaching wild animals. This land, it's 
extremely fertile. Even though all the rocks make farming so difficult. Monkeys eat tender bamboo leaves, branches, and shoots. They also love fruit and larvae of moths and butterflies. They sleep high in the bamboo trees close to their food supply. This hut home is constructed of eucalyptus branches, mud, rocks, and a tin roof. Off dangerous elephants and buffalo. Watching gorillas playing in treetops. The mortality rate in gorilla infants is 38%, some from infanticide. When old silverback dies, the new dominant male will kill the babies in order to impregnate females sooner. But these mothers use a strategy. They sometimes hide their young, do the wiggle, wiggle with the new male leader, then present the babies as from the new leader. These adolescent males are doing important work, learning to socialize. 90% of these crossings are people from the DRC coming to Rwanda for clean drinking water and to buy products. 10% are Rwandans going into the DRC to sell products. <laughs> <laughs> 